Hello everyone, this is Dream Big Budgets. My name is Natalie and today we'll be doing our budget for our fourth and final paycheck for February. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around and let's jump right in. Okay, I got my calculator right here and my marker. Um, I forgot for a second what this was. A sick brain. <laughs> um, but we do have a, a budget of 600 for this week. Some things, again, are going to change because we are locked out of our credit card, which we were using for um, our groceries and then just paying it back at the end of the month. Um, but now, because m both my husband and I are working and um, we don't really have time to pay cash um, for things, I'm just going to leave the wallet amount into our account. That way it's easily accessible because I, for example, have like a 15 minute break. Um, I don't have time to go to the cash register, get everything sorted, or have time to pay with cash at the self-checkout. So card is just easier for us right now. So all the money that I allocate towards our wallet is going to stay in our account for this week so let's see um, for this week I'm gonna be putting in a hundred and fifty so we started off with 600 taking out 150 so 450 is what we have left um, because we have more of a budget for this week what I'm gonna be doing is cover two envelopes so this is gonna be 405 in here and then we have 45 left which means hubby is gonna get five child care is gonna get 10 so we have 30 left and then our poop fund is gonna get five medical is gonna get five so that's another 10 and then car maintenance is going to get 20 um, because um, we need to go and have our car checked out. Um, our check engine light has been on for a while and we just haven't had the time or funds to go and check it. But the longer we wait, the worse it can get. So I plan on just having some money set aside. Uh, probably going to be putting more towards it next week and um, hopefully get it sorted soon. That way um, we don't have any bigger issues moving forward. I hope this made sense. Um, we also got our um, tax return, which um, it you won't see it reflected in any of our binders or savings challenges or anything like that because we decided to pay ahead as much as possible towards our mortgage. So this isn't extra principal payments. This is actual payments in advance. Um, that way we're not as stressed out from month to month and um, we can manage our funds a little bit better and have more time to put money aside towards our mortgage and maybe even make some um, extra payments towards it. Um, but that's why our tax return for this year, you won't see it reflected anywhere, um, to be honest. So what you will be seeing is basically more money every week to put towards our goals. And since we're not as pressured to put a big chunk of our paycheck towards our mortgage every week. I hope that made sense. Um, and if you have any questions regarding that, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them or just make a separate video if you want me to. Um, but I figured I should address it since we did have uh, different plans initially for um, that tax return money. But yeah, ju this just seemed like um, just a better option in general for us. So I hope I hope all of that made sense. <laughs> I really do. 
But yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking this video, and comment down below. I always enjoy the conversation. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!